Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in the previous Microsoft Flight Simulator video where I busted the Mount Fuji towns, I mentioned about um, some problems with the flight simulator. As you can see here, this is DCS and it's complete and it's functional, right? The MFDs, the gauges um, can be exported to a second monitor. And then we can have VR up here. We can have the pass through all the panels, the switches work, and I can do an outline. Okay, so this is cool. So the reason why I look into the Microsoft Flight Simulator is because it has many beautiful cities and sceneries, many cool places to check out. Um, I like to fly fast and low and zip through a lot of places instead of like kind of crawling slowly in a Cessna. So that's my way of having fun. But um, the Microsoft version, um, the MFDs are not really functional. The UFC has some text, but doesn't really reflect real um, UFC information. This one, um, yeah, there's an artificial horizon ADI. The map is not clear. And then this is just like um, a camera, right? So, and uh, two more things here, right? The MFDs all cannot be exported. The gauges cannot be exported. The switches are very hard to map, um, even using MobiFlight, very limited um, functionality. Uh, and also all these MFDs, right? This one can be exported to a second monitor, but doesn't do much. These three cannot be exported. And even if they can, can be exported, all aircraft MFDs in Microsoft currently will freeze once you enter VR mode. All right, so um, the front is not very useful. So we look into the new, the newly released um, Strike Eagle EX version where we have a giant screen like the F-35. Um, I haven't made anything functional. I'm not sure whether I can make anything functional, but at least it looks better, right? Um, what I'll do is I have the switches here, which I'll still do pass through. It feels more real than their panels. Their panels tend to be small. Um, and then I have the front um, virtual. All right, so this is the limited uh, mixed reality. I I could pass the whole cockpit in the pass through and just leave the top virtual, right? But I don't have this giant screen and the setup of the front is not the same as mine. So um, let's um, take a look. Okay guys, we are in the F15EX with the big screen and the panels on both side consoles are not to scale. They look a lot smaller than expected. So I have this for the F15E. So the panels of this size look much bigger. Um, I will leave the front virtual. The ones in F15E, um, all the MFDs cannot be exported. So we have to do the VR version. So let's um, see how this feels like flying over San Francisco Bay Area. We'll fly around the city, Golden Gate Park, Golden Gate Bridge, things like that. Right, let's get going. 
Thank <laughs> you.